failed governments. They don't know how to solve the problems. And God's divine solution to earth's problem is also government, but it's not our government. This government I'm talking about was promised in the book of Isaiah. And the promise of God to all fallen mankind is you need an alternative government. And the government that God promised us is not a democracy, a dictatorship, or a communist government, or a socialist government. The Bible introduces a government that is a kingdom. Now that's important. If I had a choice between living in a democracy or living in a true kingdom, I would choose the kingdom right away. And I'm going to tell you why during this process this morning. All the politicians and the social scientists and the economic programs of the world have been falling apart and the only system that is yet to be, be tested on earth is the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because heaven has never been yet accepted by the United Nations. They keep believing that the solutions to earth are on earth. And the problem is we as humans are not honest. We created the problems that we're trying to solve. And I believe one of the smartest men that ever lived in our lifetime was a man called Albert Einstein. He was a Jew. Albert Einstein, as you know, is famous for his studies in energy. But he made a statement that I still believe is a very important statement. He says, you cannot solve a problem at the same level it was created. Write that down. You cannot solve a problem at the same level it was created. In other words, if you produce the problem, to solve it, you have to actually go to another realm or another level to solve it. Our problem on earth is that all of our problems we created. And then we hire people, call them politicians, and tell them to solve it. But the politician is us. They went to the same schools, they learned the same education, so it makes them smarter. And this is why they can't fix your country any better than you can. And I believe we have been very, very dishonest with ourselves. Because we demand from them what we know we ourselves don't have. And if they came from us, how can they have something we don't have? So we complain to them when they can't solve the problem, when in fact we educated them with our educational system, which can't solve our problems either. And so we have this cyclic frustration going on, and that's why the world governments don't know what to do. I listened to all those people on that debate yesterday. I was engrossed in it because they were talking about my talk. They were talking economy. The kingdom of God has not been tested on earth yet. And Jesus said it will be tested. Let me quote where he said it. Matthew chapter 24, write it down, verse 14. He said these words. And this good news of the kingdom of heaven shall be preached into the whole world, not heaven, into the world as a testimony. It shall be tested to all the nations. And then the end will come. Christ doesn't say that the kingdom will be tested after the end comes. He said, when it's being tested, when man understands that his system can't work, when we finally get to the point where we throw our hands up and say, God, I don't know what to do with this. We need help from another place. Then God says, I'm going to let you have a glimpse of my system. And when all the nations admit that his system is better, then he says, I'll come back to earth. So the kingdom of God must be tested in our lifetime.